Michaela with Learn Why Are Here, and today we are going to go over Reune. Now, Reune is a program that will scrape data from the yellow pages and compile it into one easy to view place. Now, Reune is best going to be used by freelancers, marketers, and marketing agencies, and it's got a 4.8 taco rating across 71 reviews, so that's a really good average taco rating. Now, Reun was created by Farhan, and looking at the questions and reviews, it does look like he is very responsive to all of the questions, and it looks like he responds to most, if not all, of the reviews as well. Now, there are five different plans for you to choose from. Plan one at $85 includes all available features. You can simultaneously access the software on one computer. You can scrape unlimited data with no limits. You can kickstart your leads with the local business leads. You can get email, phone, and social media leads for your business. And you can crawl business websites for the most up-to-date data. Plan two at $170 includes all available features. You can simultaneously access the software on two computers. You can scrape unlimited data. You can kickstart your leads with the local business leads. You can get email, phone, and social media leads for your business, and you can crawl business websites for the most up-to-date data. Plan three at $255 includes all available features. You can simultaneously access the software on up to three computers. You can scrape unlimited data. You can kickstart your leads list with the local business leads, you can get email, phone, and social media leads for your business, and you can crawl business websites for the most up-to-date data. Plan 4 at $340 includes all available features. You can simultaneously access the software on up to four computers. You can scrape unlimited data. You can kickstart your leads list with the local business leads. You get email, phone, and social media leads, and you can crawl business websites for the most up-to-date data. And finally, Plan 5 at $425 includes all available features. You can simultaneously access the software on up to five computers. You can scrape unlimited data. You can kickstart your leads list with the local business leads. You can get email, phone, and social media leads for your business. And you can crawl business websites for the most up-to-date data. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so this is the Reun dashboard. It is its own separate program. It kind of reminds me of the old 90s or early 2000s softwares, which is not a bad thing by any means. I'm not saying that as like a slight. It just, I feel like I've just been transported to the past. There are two different scraping modes that you can choose from. You can do a keyword search or you can search a page URL. So in scraping mode one, we can go ahead and select what site we want to use. We have yellowpages.com, which is the US search, yellowpages.ca, which is Canada search, yell.com, Thompson Local, oh boy, Gelbestein. I apologize, I don't speak German at all, local.ch, justile.com, or yellowpages.com.au. So we can search through a number of different countries. I'll just stick with yellowpages.com in the US. So then we can also search by keywords. So this is gonna be something like restaurants or auto repair or marketing agencies or what have you. We'll go ahead and just do restaurants. And then we can also select our locations. So if we want to search by state or by city, we can do that right here. I live in Austin, Texas, so I'm just gonna go Austin. Texas. And additionally, we can also import locations from a text or CSV file. All right. So we have our restaurants searching through the yellow pages in Austin, Texas. Let's go ahead and start. All right. So here are my results. Let's just increase this page. Let's pull this over a little bit. All right. And this is our list. Now, right away, I know this isn't every single restaurant in Austin, Texas. If it were, we'd be in a lot of trouble. I'd also wonder where I was eating the past five years. But we do have, we have an okay selection. I wouldn't call this good just for the size of Austin, but that's fine. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, it only allows us to scrap the, scrape the first page. 
So that's why there are so few results. Okay, that makes way more sense. So we have our restaurant, we have our location, the search rank, the name, we have the category, the Yellow Pages URL, we have their address, their phone number, their email, their website, we can see their average rating, how many reviews they have, what year they were in business, their email, looks like maybe the email address used to register their website. We have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So we have a bunch of different information that we can use. So on this page, we can go ahead, we can snag their email address and email them about a potential campaign or what have you. Now say we want to, you know, partner with a bunch of sushi bars to promote our new product. We can use this category to see what types of food that they sell or what have you. So we can partner with the bars or the American restaurants or pizza restaurants or whatever. In scraping mode two, we can search through a page URL and gather all of those results right here as well. One thing I'm curious as to whether or not this has to be a Yellow Pages URL or if it could be any URL. So I'm going to go ahead and just try Yelp to see if that will work. We're just going to try restaurants. Okay, so it does not, it looks like it has to be a supported page, which does not seem like Yelp is supported. So let's go ahead and do the Yellow Pages. Okay, so I was able to do the Yellow Pages and I was able to find it right here. Now, one thing I'm noticing is that these results right here are not in the same order as on the Yellow Pages website. So this is my website right here. So we have Hop Dottie, we have Home Slice, we have Eddie V's, Fonda, et cetera, et cetera. Meanwhile, over here, there's no Home Slice. There's no Hop Dotty. There's no Eddie V's. So I'm curious as to why the restaurants here are in this order as opposed to the order on the website. All in all, I would probably give it, I'd probably give it a 4.5. It really brings together all the information that you may need. It has a list of the restaurants. It has what type of food that they serve. It has the average star rating. Whatever you wanna know, it, it's there. So even if you aren't necessarily using this for marketing purposes, say you just wanna see a list of all of the restaurants or all of the delivery services or what have you, just because you want a generic list that you can look through, this is gonna be a, even a really good tool for that, not even for mar just marketing purposes. Again, I would like to see the logic behind the results that they display because as we saw when I looked up the yellow pages on the website, the results list was completely different than the results that I got here in Reune. So I would like to know or at least have a little transparency as to how those results are sorted. If it is just, you know, kind of random or if it's maybe, you know, they are paying money to be put at the top. I don't know. It would be nice to see that. Additionally, I don't see anywhere to use a dark theme, but that's okay. I am curious. Hang on. I'm going to use my hometown. Okay, yeah. So it also does have my hometown in here. That's pretty cool. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I do like that it doesn't just have, you know, the major cities. It does have some of the small towns or the smaller cities in my case. If you have any questions, comments, concerns on what you saw today, please do not be afraid to put those down in the comments section below. And as always, I will see you next time. Goodbye.